The James Webb Telescope is one of the biggest and most anticipated projects in space history. With many delays and billions spent over budget, there is a lot on the line for NASA. Recent tests by NASA show that it is near go for launch, with the Webb Sunshield successfully unfolding and tensioning last December. This is great news for the latest projected launch date of the 31st of October 2021. But what's the big deal with this new telescope anyways? And how is it different from the Hubble telescope? Well, let's find out. The Hubble is mainly an optical telescope. This allows the telescope to capture a very similar range of wavelength to the human eye. It can only capture some of the infrared wavelength, which is where a lot of the valuable image data is hidden. This is where the James Webb Telescope is different. It will be capturing images in the deep sky in completely infrared, allowing it to gather data that is invisible to the human eye. Here is a direct comparison between an infrared and visible light taken by the Hubble. As you can see, the infrared image can see past the nebulosity and gather much more data that isn't normally visible. Well, why not just build a giant infrared telescope here on Earth? Unfortunately, due to light pollution in the Earth's atmosphere, it adds a lot of unwanted data to the images, ultimately hampering the quality of the pictures gathered. Getting out of Earth's atmosphere and away from any light pollution allows the telescope to capture images that would be impossible to take anywhere on Earth. Even the darkest, clearest skies here can't compete to what the Hubble and soon to be the James Webb Telescope can capture. Not only that, but infrared also captures anything warm, so the heat here on Earth also interferes with the data collected on an infrared camera. Because of this, the James Webb Space Telescope will operate at 1 million miles away from Earth. This gives it the optimal conditions to observe without any heat. Well, kind of. The telescope needs to be cooled at minus 370 degrees Fahrenheit or minus 223 degrees Celsius, which is the ideal temperature for infrared imaging. This will be done through an onboard cooling system and an impressive 69 foot by 46 foot wide sunshield. This is nearly the size of a full tennis court. The James Webb Telescope will be the biggest and most powerful telescope ever put in space. No other telescope beats the complexity and engineering of this one. It is 100 times more powerful than the Hubble telescope and has a much, much bigger mirror. The Hubble's primary mirror is 2.5 meters in diameter, while the Webb's is a whopping 6.5 meters, which can gather a lot more light. The whole point of these telescopes is to get a better understanding of our universe and try to comprehend just how it all started. To do that, we need to look as far back into the future as possible. So just how far back can we see with the James Webb Telescope? A great analogy is the Hubble can see the equivalent of toddler galaxies, while Webb can see baby galaxies. Why is this the case? Well, the big mirror certainly helps, but also because it's an infrared telescope. This data will help scientists try to understand the Big Bang Theory and how the universe began. But why is it important to understand galaxies? Good question. Galaxies show us how the universe is arranged on a very large scale. To understand the universe, we first need to understand why it's organized the way it is. We need to learn how the universe was once organized and how it has changed throughout time. Galaxies can help us with that. Some of the galaxies the James Webb Telescope will be studying are super young, so it allows us to compare those galaxies with the galaxies we know of today and try to make a connection between the two. What we do know is that they are constantly forming, colliding, and merging to form new galaxies. Did you know that we're going to collide with Andromeda in the near future? Well, 4.5 billion years, so kind of near. Another important task that the Webb Project hopes to complete is to gain a better understanding of how stars and planetary systems are formed. Again, this is the massive advantage an infrared telescope has. It allows us to see through the dust and gas that's in space and can show a lot more detail that would be hidden in the more usual wavelengths. Scientists don't know how clouds and dust collapse to create stars and why they form in groups. The data collected by the Webb Telescope will hopefully help to shed light on those questions and provide the answers needed to gain an understanding of our very confusing universe. On a personal level, I'm most looking forward to the Webb's role in searching for life on another planet and finding exoplanets and planets similar to ours. The main way it hopes to do this is by studying the atmosphere of exoplanets in the hopes of finding the building blocks for life. The ultimate goal is to find a planet with similar conditions to ours, 
pretty interesting stuff. However, it won't just be looking deep into the universe. We also want to learn more about our very own solar system. It hopes to do this by observing planets such as Mars and Jupiter, but also other objects like asteroids, comets, and Kuiper Belt objects. The list is endless for what this amazing piece of technology hopes to do. We always seem to be making massive steps in learning about our universe and how everything was made, but this is the greatest step yet. This is of course making the presumption that we have a successful launch and the deadline is not pushed back another while. Here's to hoping! A lot of time and research goes into these videos, so why not leave a like and maybe even subscribe if you enjoy it. That's all for now and thanks for watching.